Hi folks, I'm JD Pyatt with Icotech Game Calls. Welcome to the online tutorial video for downloading and programming your Icotech Outlaw or Icotech Night Stalker. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the tutorial for loading sounds to your Icotech Outlaw or Night Stalker game calls using a Mac version computer. Previously, it was an issue using a Mac because Mac hard drives would attach a ghost file to the file when it transferred from the hard drive of the computer to the SD drive of the caller. But we have since figured out there's a second party app called Clean My Drive 2 which is up here. I'm going to have to click on it and show it to you. Uh, the Clean My Drive 2 runs on your computer in the background. You don't have to do anything with it other than install it and allow it access to your external and internal computer drives. So that SD card being an external drive, once you plug it into your computer, Clean My Drive 2 will recognize it after you've set the properties to allow it access anytime you make changes to that SD card. Uh, it will clean off those ghost files. Those ghost files previously attached to the sound files when transferred to the SD cards to the callers would corrupt the cards and things would not work properly. So we've got this Clean My Drive 2 on my Mac system. Uh, it was a quick download and to be honest I don't even realize it's there and working. We do have information on our website along with a link, which I will take you there now. See in the information bar up top, we have a link for downloading sounds via Mac computer. If you click on that, it will take you to a page that runs you through what I'm explaining now. It also has the link to the App Store to go to and download this Clean My Drive 2. So it is a must have on your computer when using a Mac and downloading sounds. Okay, now that we've discussed the Clean My Drive 2, a tip I'd like to offer up is when you get your new Outlaw or Night Stalker game call. First thing I'd do would be connect it to the computer and create a backup folder and store those sounds on it. That way if anything ever happens you've got those sounds to go back to and reload to your call. So, Alright, we're going to download one sound a day from the Icotech website and first thing I want to do is create a folder to put that sound into. And I'll name it Icotech sounds. Alright. So I've got the folder created. I'm going to drag it up here for later. Let's go to the Icotech website. Let's go over to the sound library. It's going to give you the drop down menu. And I'm loading to a Night Stalker today. So I want to go to sound previews and downloads for the Outlaw and the Night Stalker. Click it. That's going to direct you to the page that the sounds are located. As you see there's quite a few new ones that we recorded in 2018. Beside each file name, you'll see the preview and a download button. That way, you can go through, preview a short sample of each sound, and decide if you want to download that sound and add it to your caller or not. And say you do, you want to slide over and you'll click the download button. So I know I want to download Apollo Invite. I'm going to run you through the process of previewing it first, which it'll open up it into another browser with a player. And automatically start playing. This is a sound sample of Ico Apollo Invite. This is a sound sample of Ico Apollo Invite. Okay, so we've previewed that sound. We know we want to download it and add it to our caller. So I'm going to click on the download button. And that's going to direct me to the Dropbox page that the sound is located at. As you see, it'll give you the name of the file 
and the size of the file. So hit the blue button, I'm going to click it. It's going to ask me if I want to direct download or save to my Dropbox. I want to direct download so I can put it in that folder. And with Mac, you'll see that process take place up in the right hand corner of your browser. So my sound's finished downloading. I'm going to click, hold on it, drag it out, and drop it right into my folder. Now, I know my Night Stalker come with 240 sounds on it. So I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to put this sound at the end of my list. So I'm just going to name it 241. With a space between the one and the first letter. So now that my sound has been downloaded, stored in my folder, and renamed, it's ready to be placed onto Drive 1 and Drive 2 of my Night Stalker. So let's connect the caller to the computer. Anything you do to drive one, you have to do identically to drive two in order for the two sounds to work properly. Okay, there's my drive one for my Night Stalker. As you see, it's got 240 sounds on it. Now with a Mac, you can do it a couple ways. You can either drag and drop it over onto that drive one, and Mac will create the copy when it does it. Or you can highlight it like it is, go up, copy it, and then paste it to drive one. But either way works. There it is. Sound 241 Apollo Invite is now on drive one of my Night Stalker. I'm going to unplug. I'm going to plug into drive two and do the same thing to it. And then when that's finished, we're ready to update our remote control. Okay, now that we have successfully added a couple sounds to our caller, this, for example, is my Night Stalker. Works the exact same for the outlaw as stated. We're going to update our remote now, transfer that information from the caller to the remote. Using the supplied cables that come with the caller, which is a standard auxiliary cable, stereo mode, um, 3.5 millimeter double end male jacks. So first thing we're gonna do is plug into the sync port on the caller and turn the caller on. Then we will plug into the side of the remote and turn the remote control on. The remote and the caller will start communicating. You see it says updating and it's transferring those sounds from the caller to your remote control. And this will take a couple seconds. Then your remote will read data saving. Then it'll say send OK and flash. And then it'll show you your call list. At this point, shut them both back off, unplug, <clears throat> and let's test our sounds that we loaded. Apollo invite. <laughs> oh, there we go. We have successfully loaded a couple sounds to our game caller updated our remote now it's time to go hunting so thanks for watching the video hopefully it helps everybody become successful with their first try and we're spending more time in the field hunting uh, need any further information send us an email service at icotech.com we'll be glad to help you out y'all have a great day icotech dead serious game calls and decoys